Hello everybody, this is Gary here, bringing you Worst to Best 2013 Eggs. This is Egg Review 2013. Let's get it started. By the way, these two eggs were not used during the 2013 egg hunt. So these will go into the not used list. Um, I'll talk about that list when we get to the non used list because there's actually things I want to discuss about about that because I made some errors about some unused eggs. So we'll get there. But that was totally unrelated. Anyway, let's get to the egg review. Number 34, my least favorite egg of 2013 is the full moon egg. Those craters are hideous. I hate them so much. Like, those craters are just the worst. I do not like them at all. That's really why it's my least favorite. It's just those craters are so bad. Number 33, Alien Hatchling. This egg is hideous. What can I say other than, like, those? it looks so bad. Like, it's not that even unique. I mean, it kind of is, but in a bad way. Oh, sorry about that. Number 32, you already saw the deviled egg. That face just creeps me out too much. I hate that face too much. It's just too creepy for me. Well, I mean, it's not even... Cre it's creepy, but not in, like, a scary way. It's creepy in a... It's just hideous way. Number 31, Extreme Builder. I just don't like that car decal on it, and the colors do not work together. But, like... It's just, I don't like the colors and the card decal. The card decal makes it even worse. Number 30, chocolate egg. I mean, the, the chocolate part looks all right, but that tinfoil part looks terrible. Like, that does that looks awful. Like, that tinfoil part. I don't understand why people would like this tinfoil part. It's just, ugh. Number 29, Excellent egg. A lot of people will disagree with me on this, but I honestly just don't like how the colors clash together. It looks pretty awkward in my opinion, and I just don't like it. Number 28, advertisement egg. Advertisement egg. Like, the, the lines itself are okay, but the color they, they choose for, like, the egg, like this part, right, these lines right here, they're just a terrible part of the egg i do not like that they should have chosen like any color but that number 27 dream weavers faberge egg it looks like a tarot it's like some antique ugly carpet it's literally just an ugly antique faberge carpet egg if that even made sense number 26 epic growth egg honestly the leans are kind of the leaves are kind of cool the vines look but that i just don't like the texture for it number 25 ego trip the colors just make all of it clashing together just makes it one big eyesore of an egg because there's just too much colors for me number 24 scrambled egg the color for the texture they choose for it is just terrible i don't really care for the crack and the googly eyes are okay but it's just the color Ugh. number 23 outrageous egg um i just don't like the the way the outrageous builder plate thing is like it just does not fit like with everything else on the egg if they removed it i might actually like it but i don't number 22 regal dragon faberge egg um honestly i just think this egg is pretty bland in my opinion i mean the faberge bottom end right here is pretty okay but honestly it's just kind of blah 21 the last egg of 2013 honestly it just this just looks like the egg coming up except for like worse colors i honestly don't care for this egg it's just meh. number 20 watermelon egg the reason why i put this one above the last egg of 2013 because it's an actual watermelon i think that's all right they just took a watermelon texture but at least they put some effort into it but it just looks like the better version of this egg so yeah number 19 the easiest egg a i mean the easiest can't always be the best I mean, I didn't mean to click that, but, um, honestly, there's just too much red on the top. I feel like 
there's just too much red for me on the top. It just completely ruins like the design of the egg for me. Number 18, yolks on us. Honestly, this egg, the colors are just kind of bland when they clash, which is why it's a mad because it's so bland. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about this egg. Number 17, Scaly the Dragon. Honestly, I think the wings are cool, but it's just this, these scales. I don't like the way they look. Number 16, GGE. Basically, egg spelled backwards. Nope, what the heck? Anyway, um, I don't care for this egg at all. Like, I just don't care for it. That's all I really have to say. It's just something, it's just too mad for me. Number 15, Royal Fabergé egg. Honestly, this is the most bland Fabergé egg ever. Honestly, it's just, ah. Number 14, wait, no. Number 14, the tiger egg. Honestly, this egg just does not make a difference to me. Like, I honestly don't care about this egg at all. It's just a tiger egg. I don't care about this egg. I don't care for it. Number 13, Squirkus egg. Now, here's the thing. This egg is derpy, which is why it's high on the list. But the thing is... That hand just creeps, look, that hand is just, I don't like it at all. I really just don't like this part of the hands. So yeah, Ever, other than that, it's good. Number 12, Bad Blocks Hatchling Hatched Egg of Duty. I honestly like this egg, like, some of it, like, doesn't really go with me, but I really like the grenades. They're, they're like, pretty good with the egg. Number 11, Exultant, excellent, exultant contributor. However, the heck you say that. Honestly, I think the logo on it is pretty cool. I think the colors clash together. So yeah, that's why I put it on there. Number ten, canical egg. This is the egg that's not really an egg for the list. Um, Honestly, I like the way the cannon looks. I think it's a pretty good-looking cannon, if you ask me. Number nine, supersonic egg. I like this egg. I like that it's a plane. I like a lot of things about it, but there's one thing I dislike, which makes it not higher on the list, and it's these orange parts. I just don't like the way they are. I just It just looks weird to me. Number eight, egg. However the heck you say that. Um, I like the decal on it, and I like how the colors clash, which is kind of the point of the scripter eggs. Um, yeah, orange and red are a good color to mix, same with, and it goes well with this too, so yeah. Number seven, Builderman egg. What a classic egg this one is. It's Builderman, how could you not like it? Number six, Clasmatic egg. Um, I think this egg looks really cool. And I think it's really, like, ahead of its time. But, like, some of these cracks just look kind of off to me. Number five, TLDR egg. Rest in peace is all I can say. Number four, egg explosion. This is my favorite scripter egg because I love the colors on these. The fire decal makes it look even better. And, um... Like, I just love the colors, the color mixes on these. They're pretty cool. Number three, egg, however the heck you say that. Honestly, the reason why this isn't higher is because some of the webs look kind of weird, but the spider really adds to the detail. I really like the spider part of this. It's just super unique, and the egg it by itself would look pretty cool, but not as cool with the spider. I mean, not as cool without, I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Number two, Wizard of Astral Egg. This egg is cool. I really like how they turned, they made an egg somehow look like a wizard. I think it's a pretty good design. And yeah, number one, my favorite egg of 2013 Egg Hunt is the Eye Egg. This one just looks amazing. It's a robot egg. It, it's, I just... 
really like this one. It's better than the other eye egg we got coming later in an egg review, but honestly, I just like how everything goes together and how, like, it forms, like, a robot thing. I think that looks really cool. Anyway, on to the statistics. There were 12 bad, 10 meh, and 12 good. This was a meh, meh egg design year because the bad and the good, like, were equal to each other. And then if you split the meh into five, they're still the same. So it's just meh. It's in the middle. And this is my rankings for every egg design year. Number one is 2010. Number two is 2012. Number three is 2013. And last is 2008. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.